It might still feel far away to you now, but if you are a print on demand seller, 2025 is just right around the corner. So that means that you should be doing everything you can to get ready now. As a print on demand seller, it is the best practice to be uploading new items in your store for niches that are two to three months out. This just gives you enough time to actually make your items and get them up with enough time to rank in the algorithm and for people to purchase these items before the specific holiday or event actually comes around. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the biggest niches we are going to be expecting in 2025, many of them focused on the beginning of the year. So if you have been waiting to find the next best seller for your shop, or you've still been trying to grow this thing and not really getting any traction, one of these niches might be just the thing that really can take your shop to the next level. So let's not waste any more time and just jump right into some of these niches that you might have not even thought of, but are going to be huge in 2025. Now this this first niche that I pulled for you guys is one that I know is going to do so well because we had a very similar circumstance happen last year in 2024 and it ended up being one of the biggest print on demand events for sellers. Now people who got in on this early were able to make so much profit but a lot of people came to the trend way too late so they weren't able to actually get any sales because by that time the niche was just way too saturated. But this year in 2025 we are actually having another sold solar eclipse in March. Now this is not going to be a total solar eclipse like we did see last year, but this solar eclipse is going to cover parts of the United States, Canada, and some of Europe as well. So many geographic regions are going to experience a solar eclipse. And I think a lot of people got really excited by the eclipse that happened last year. So they're going to be excited about any of these lunar events that are happening this year. Now it might seem silly that people would be designing and buying items specifically for a solar eclipse, but Shures that did really well last Last year literally just said things as simple as solar eclipse with the date of the event happening. So in this case, March 29th, and then sometimes with the location they were at where it could be seen. Now you can take this many different directions, but I definitely think this is a print on demand event that you don't want to miss out on. And it's probably time to already start thinking about how you are going to make designs for this niche for the coming spring, because that's going to come really, really fast. And you don't want to miss out on it, especially if you did last year. Now this next niche is one that is very popular every single year, but each year that comes along, there is a new way to get more momentum and really stand out in the competition. And that is going to be 2025 baby announcements. Now we're just in 2024 right now, but even so, so many people have been announcing their 2025 pregnancies already. So this is a trend you definitely want to start working on today if you can. Now, anything baby or kid related does super well in print on demand. As sellers, we always want to be targeting things that people are very passionate about. And there's honestly nothing people are more passionate about than their kids a lot of times. So this is a really great niche to work in. Now, the thing that I definitely want to caution you against is just making really generic baby announcement type shirts. So you might be thinking something like baby coming 2025. Now that can definitely work, but that niche, even though we're not even in 2025 yet, is probably already so saturated with other people. Now, the way that I suggest that you really try to stand out in this particular niche for 2025 is by really niching down your baby announcement and crossing it with something else to make it a little bit more specific. Now, the best way you can do this is by different themes. So if you think about maybe things that the parents are into, so sports, you could do like a baseball related gender announcement or other types of hobbies. You could do something about the parent's career. So maybe the mom is a nurse or a teacher and she wants to do an announcement shirt kind of based on her profession. Now, there really are so many ways that you can take and cross niche this. And I actually have a free resource for you guys down below, which is my cross nation guide, along with a workshop of actually how to use that. And in there, there are tons of lists of things like hobbies and careers and pets. So you can really take the niche of baby announcement 2025 and cross it with a ton of different sub niches to have way more chance of standing out. Now, like I said, this is one you're going to want to jump on right now and start making designs for. And a little bit later in the year, you can even start making items to sell and 2025 that are for 2026 babies being born because people start announcing towards the end of the year babies that are coming for that following year. So this is definitely one to get ahead of and start making some designs for because baby announcements sell like crazy every single year. Now this next trend that is going to be huge in 2025 is more of a broad category and that is the sustainability niche. So sustainability continues to be something people are very passionate about, they talk about often, and they like to buy items that show 
show that they are doing something to be more sustainable. So there are tons of different ways that you can take this niche by making things like tote bags or t-shirts or sweatshirts with sayings all about sustainability, living greener. But one of the things that I want to have you guys think about this year is how you can really make your print on demand shops more sustainable if this is some approach that you want to take. So today I've actually partnered with Printify and if you didn't know, they actually have a whole section of their website where they have eco-friendly products that you can sell linked with your Etsy shop. So say you're selling in a niche that is somewhat adjacent to sustainability or you just want this to be something important about your shop, you can have a whole bunch of different types of products that are all made sustainably. And this is something you could even write about on your Etsy store. You could include this in your banner and your inserts that all the products you choose are sourced from eco-friendly manufacturers. I know this is becoming really important to people and that's one of the reasons a lot of people do choose to shop on a place like Etsy as opposed to a bigger print-on-demand store or e-commerce platform like Amazon because they love the idea of supporting a smaller creator who maybe is able to get them more sustainably sourced products. So this really is a great niche to take advantage of, especially if that is something important to you. People who are into this niche are more willing to spend more money on each item, especially if it is made in an eco-conscious way. So that is something you could think about doing a whole store about is just having eco-friendly products, or you could even make a subsection of your store that you already have that only sources from these more green eco-conscious manufacturers. This really isn't going anywhere anytime soon. I see it continuing over the next few years. So it's really important to be thinking about, especially if some of the niches you are already selling in kind of align with this type of product. Now, if you have never sold with Printify before, I'm going to link all their information down below, how you can get started with an account for free. And I have a full video here on how to link your Etsy shop to be able to sell products on Printify. They are my choice of a manufacturing partner. And I know a ton of you already love and use them, but you might have not known that they have these types of products too. Now, another big event we have coming up in the United States towards the beginning of 2025 is going to be another huge trendsetter, a huge moneymaker. And that is the inauguration. Now this year in 2024, we have seen the political niche already doing huge numbers. And that doesn't end right when the new candidate is elected. The last election cycle during the inauguration, there were so many new trends that emerged. So people who had their TVs on who are watching the inauguration, they were able to capture quotes. They were able to pick up on trends that were being talked about and immediately make print on demand items that were able to become bestsellers almost instantly. Now that was one of the huge powers that we have as print on demand sellers is we can get things out so fast. So if you are watching the news, if you see something happening in live time, you can jump on your computer, make a design and upload it within just minutes to an hour. Whereas actual retailers, big box stores, they're going to have to go through all the research and development. They're going to have to go through a whole team. So it could be months before they actually get a product out that has to do with a particular date or trend. So we can really jump on these huge news stories really fast to make items. Now, either candidate is going to have tons of potential opportunities for niches and products that you could create. So start thinking about that right now because political designs, they really never do take a break. We see a huge spike in sales in election years and in years of new presidents, but really political designs do well every single month, every single year. So this is definitely something to be thinking about towards the beginning of 2025. You might feel like you came way late to kind of the election cycle print on demand niche, but you didn't miss out completely because there's whole new opportunities that are going to be happening in the beginning of 2025 with the inauguration. Now, the next big event that is happening in the beginning of 2025 has to do with football and that is the Super Bowl. Now, the Super Bowl is something that people get really nervous about designing print on demand items around. And that is a really good caution to feel. You never want to make items that have to do specifically with things like the Super Bowl or teams that are in the NFL or anything that is copying or trying to profit off of these established franchises. But just the general niche of football, watching football, having games together, eating football snacks really goes crazy around this time. People buy all sorts of shirts and sweatshirts to wear to Super Bowl parties. And many of them don't really have anything to do with the actual teams that are playing. So we saw huge trends last year, things like I'm just here for the snacks or other funny things that said stuff like yay, go sports. Just anyone who generally loves football is probably going to buy items related to football around this time of year. Now, this is something you can definitely get started on now because the season is in full swing. People are 
are thinking about and going to many football viewing parties for the next few months, but this is especially going to ramp up in the first couple months of the year. So definitely something you want to be thinking about and taking advantage of that trend. Now, this is something you can also cross with other niches. So like I talked about those baby announcements, I have personally seen that there are tons of different like football or Super Bowl themed baby announcements that happen. So that is just another cross niche you could think about doing something with. So definitely one to pay attention to and start preparing for right now. Now, the next trend that is continuing to do really well right now, and I know is going to be huge in 2025, is oversized everything. So we've seen that oversized kind of baggy clothing, especially t-shirts, has been so popular this past year, and that is not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you've never thought about adding more of an oversized t-shirt look to your shops, especially on Etsy, this is the time to do it. Now, some really popular t-shirt styles in that more classic t-shirt look are going to be Bella and Canvas as well as Gildan. But when we're going for this more oversized look that is really popular, especially with Gen Z, I think the go-to is definitely going to be comfort colors. Now on Printify, they have a whole bunch of manufacturers that have comfort colors available and they have that really awesome feel with that nice oversized look. Now these definitely are a little bit more expensive than if you were going with a traditional Gildan shirt or even comfort colors, but people are willing to pay extra money for comfort colors. And in fact, people are putting the term comfort colors in their search when they are looking for specific t-shirts. So it's really worth it to invest in this, especially if your niches are appealing to a more younger demographic like Gen Z and millennials. I know it's sometimes scary to venture out into other product types if you're really familiar with one thing, but it's really important to be able to be flexible and evolve with the trends that are coming up. Now, that doesn't mean that you should ditch all your traditional t-shirts. There are still tons of people who love that look, but if you're thinking about trying something new, I highly recommend on Printify trying out something like a Comfort Colors t-shirt and seeing how that does for you. Now, the next niche that you should be thinking about in 2025 is going to be anything that has to do with years ending in five. So anyone who was born in years like 1975, 85, 95, 2005, they are all celebrating really significant birthdays this year as we're coming into 2025. So if you have ever sold in the niche of like birthdays or anniversaries, this is definitely something to think about getting all of those designs updated with the new year. People love to show off when they were born, like baby announcements and stuff with kids. Celebrating significant milestone birthdays are huge sellers in print on demand because it's one thing that we can get so hyper specific with is the year that people were born. Whereas a store like Target, they couldn't carry every single person's birth year in their shop. That is something we could do as print on demand sellers. So if you have anything to do with years in your shop, make sure you're updating those for all of the years that are ending in five. Now, if you are really looking to take your shop to the next level this year, but you're still really unsure with what types of products you want to sell or kind of your game plan of how you want to really grow this print on demand business, I have a full video here that kind of walks you through those really crucial, important decisions you're going to have to make as you are growing your print on demand business. I highly suggest giving that a watch, but thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to hear about some of the designs you guys create with these ideas.